Hello and welcome. This is a bit of an odd one. Um, I'm just decided to play a little bit of Medieval 2 Total War. I haven't played a Total War game in absolute bloody ages. Um, so I'm going to jump into doing a tutorial and I just thought why the heck not just record some of this and uh, see how it goes. You can watch me fail. Um, I didn't want to dive straight into a big old battle because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. It's been so long. Uh, so I'm doing a tutorial thing, so it may be interesting, may not be, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. See Following how the death of Edward the Confessor, the has to say. England fell into a bitter power struggle. Harold Godwinson was quick to seize power, though the King of Norway, Harold Hardrada, felt the land his birthright. However, the late Edward had promised the throne to William, the Duke of Normandy, who, with the blessing of the Pope, readied his army for conquest. Father! Word from England! Hardrada lies dead, and his army defeated. And what of Harold Godwinson? His victory at Stamford Bridge has strengthened his hold on the throne. He's the Even now, he musters his forces. Perhaps it is time. Then what shall I tell the troops is your command? Tell them... We sail for England. And conquest! Yeah! Now I can't remember William's when this game came up, it's swept it across the channel too like bad. a mighty tide, landing at Pevensey and amassing to confront Harold's approaching horde at Hastings. This titanic clash would be the decisive battle for the future of the English throne. Okay. So there's their army, there's my army. Let's destroy these fuckers. My son, remember this day, and remember this moment, for after this battle, these lands will be ours. Yeah. And rightfully so, father. It is time. His men are ragged from the journey. Very well. Rufus, prepare your men for battle. Go. Even the horse head doesn't do that bad. Here we go. We are doing, I think it's Battle Hastings. I didn't probably look. Hastings, 1066. Here we go. The Saxon King Harold takes up a strong defensive position on Caldbeck Hill. His men form the legendary Saxon Shield Wall, blocking the road to London and forcing a frontal attack from the Normans. Norman. William waits patiently with ranks of archers, infantry and cavalry, ready to launch a three-waved attack. He has archers to weaken the shield wall from afar. So that's my first call. Spearmen to engage the enemy in close combat. Yep. Pretty sure I've seen this in the movie. And cavalry to drive through the enemy and run down deserters. William gives his order for the first wave. Missiles! Attack! His archers raise their bows and fire into the shield wall. I'm not actually doing anything, just in case you run quite well. The battle for the English throne begins. Units, move out! William's favoured son, Rufus, moves into position to guard the rear of the Norman army 
and awaits his father's call to battle. Well met, Commander. Okay, there we go. I am Sir Robert, your military advisor. Hey, Rob. I will watch your actions on the battlefield and guide you to glory. Follow my instructions, and we will crush these Saxon dogs. Okay. Your father, Duke William, wishes your troops to guard the rear of his army and wait for his call to battle. Keep a watchful eye for any Saxons that hope to ambush our army. Okay. Right, this so I'm not is really Rufus, sure your one. general on the battlefield. He is accompanied by an entourage of the finest Norman knights. Left click on his unit to select them now. Your general. general is your most important unit. He commands your armies on the battlefield, giving them strength and courage to fight. When he is lost, your battle is lost. Remember, you must keep Rufus alive to conquer the Saxons. Okay. You can move your armies around by right-clicking where you want them to go. Right-click on the highlighted area to move Rufus there. Go, Rufus. You will notice that your general has moved, but your view has not. Use the number pad on the keyboard to move your view of the battlefield. Five and two will move it forward and back, four and six will move it sideways, and one and three will rotate your view. Move your view now so that Rufus is centered. You can zoom in and out and tilt your view by using the mouse wheel. You can also move your view by pushing the mouse to the edge of the screen. The panel at the bottom of the screen shows a map of the battlefield, an indicator of your progress in the battle, controls for the pace of the battle, your general and troops, as well as options and commands for your selected forces. You can also select your units by left double left clicking on a unit card centers your view on that unit. To get your unit somewhere quickly, double right click on a location. Order your cavalry to run by double right clicking on the highlighted area. I just did it. Look at me. You can change your unit speed of movement by pressing the unit speed toggle button on the bottom right panel. Try this now to order your cavalry to slow down. Oh, that one. Sometimes it is necessary to run on the battlefield. However, making your troops run too often will tire them out quickly. Order Don't your troops that. to march long distances and only run when you are near your enemy. You can press the Stop Current Orders button on the bottom right panel to remove all current orders from your selected units. Press the Stop Current Orders button now to stop your cavalry. You can easily select all your units on the battlefield by pressing Control A. Try doing this now. Now that all your units are selected and awaiting your orders, move here. them to the highlighted area. You can order your units to move into formation by holding down the right mouse button and dragging out a line on the terrain where you want them to move. I assume they're all in place. Otherwise, I've got to redo them. Nope. Unit march. Okay, 
those chips are the last ones to move. Each of your units proudly bears the Norman banner. You can easily recognize your men on the battlefield by this banner. Different types of units have differently shaped Ooh, banners. I can see some you can also select a unit by clicking on their banner. You can easily deselect your selected units by pressing enter. Try this now. Some Saxon reinforcements have arrived. You no. must stop them from crossing the river and flanking the Norman army. Use your archers first, archers. so you can weaken the Saxon infantry as they move your mouse cursor over the approaching Saxons and right-click to attack. When, you're... when your archers are firing on the enemy, a bow and arrow icon appears on the top left of their unit card. When you order your archers to fire, they will move into range and then attack. Your armored sergeants are your best melee fighters. Select these spearmen now and attack the Saxons. To attack, mouse over the Saxons and right-click when your cursor changes to a sword. If your archers fire on a unit that is in melee with your own unit, your unit will take friendly fire from your archers. Select your archers and press the HALT archers. button to stop them firing. Halt. You can zoom in on the action by using the mouse wheel. Try zooming in on your infantry now to see your men in the heat of battle. Let go. While your units are engaging the enemy, move your mouse cursor over your units or the enemy units for feedback on their status. You can find out who is winning and how each unit is faring. 27 of them versus 44 of us. You could do... Now select your cavalry and double right click on the enemy to run them down. Using your cavalry to stamp the archers and infantry is a useful tactic. Don't run down my William has called for you to join the main battle. The end of the battle is at hand, and the next few moments will determine the fate of England. Cool. First, you need to move your army into the main battle. Press Control A to select all your units, or hold down Control and click each unit card. Then right click on the far side of the crossing to move your units there. When you have ordered your troops to move a long distance, you can increase the game speed to get them into position faster. Set the battle to the highest speed now by clicking the faster button twice. Look at them go. When your troops are nearing their destination, press the slower button twice to return the battle to normal speed. Otherwise, you might miss important events in the battle. Oh, yes. Come on, Marchy. Okay, so this is part two, in a sense. Oh, what's going on over here? William has given the order for your troops to fall into line with the rest of the Norman army. First, order your archers into the front row. Archers. Archers. 
Now order your spearmen to move into the second row. Then move your cavalry into the third row. Now order your general to fall in behind your troops. The battle is now paused. You can pause the battle at any time and issue orders to your troops. When you resume the battle, they will carry out your orders. Press the play button when you are ready to resume the battle. I'm ready. Now okay. is a good time to use the speed controls to move your troops into position faster. Set the battle to the higher speed now and back to normal speed when they're almost in position. Those archers are done. There we go. Right, where's those archers? Some of William's army have broken away and are fleeing. Units rot on the battlefield when their morale becomes very low. Morale decreases when units become tired, when their chance of success is low or if the general dies. The Saxon peasants have broken rank and are charging at us. They no. have seen our fleeing men and have made themselves vulnerable. Archers! Now is the time to attack. William has ordered all archers to fire at the approaching peasants. Select your archers, archers. and fire at the nearest peasants. Attack. Your fine Norman archers will make short work of these peasants. Use your archers to fire on enemies as they approach, but remember not to engage them in melee. Now run your armored sergeants in to finish off those peasants. These spearmen are highly skilled in melee and are well suited to close combat. Remember to stop your archers firing on the enemy or your spearmen will suffer unnecessary casualties. Without the peasants, the Saxon shield wall is broken and their position is weak. Order your archers to fire into the Saxon infantry archers. now. Attack! Harold has been caught by an arrow. The Saxon king is slain. <laughs> His men have lost hope and they are fleeing. 
The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From... Use your cavalry to chase down the routing troops. Your cavalry are fast and will catch the infantry easily. The fewer men you leave alive, the fewer you will have to deal with later. The small map on the bottom left of the screen shows the location of all the units in the battle. You can use this map to easily locate your men and the enemy. Your units are green, allied units are blue, and enemy units are red. You can double left click a location on the map to move your view there immediately. The battle is very much in our favor. Harold's most brave and loyal troops, his Huskarls, are still standing to fight. Help William finish them off and be done with this bloody day. Only half the enemy force remains. Trust it down. All of Christendom will be awed <laughs> by the victory we have won here today. Bravo, my lord. You have slain Damn, King Harold and sent these Saxons running for their worthless lives. You can review your men's performance in the battle here before moving on with your campaign to seize England. There we go, that's the Battle of Hastings. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was quite nice, uh, a nice revisit back into the world of Total War. Um, the last one I played was probably Medieval, was, I think the first Medieval Total War, and before that was the first Shogun Total War, and I really enjoyed Shogun. Um, I might do some more videos like this at another time, but yeah, for a little taster, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.